I really want to go out, but it's raining again. So I'm being stuck at home. <sighs> what can we do? Maybe we can make some rainbow. Did you know that rainbow form when the sunlight pass through tiny water droplets in the sky after the rain stops? But it seems like the rain is getting heavier and heavier. Why not we make the rainbow ourselves? Let's go! Hey guys! Welcome to another episode of Science at Home. My name is Shin and I'm from Techdo Penang, Penang First Science Discovery Centre. So today, we are going to make some rainbow juice. Before we make the rainbow juice, I would like to ask you a question. How many colours does a rainbow have? I'm sure you know the answer. Seven. So the seven colours of the rainbows are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet and indigo. Of all the seven colours, we are going to use six of them to make the rainbow juice today. Because indigo and violet, they are really similar. And we are going to use purple to replace them. So to make the rainbow juice, you will need the following materials. Some food colouring. Red, yellow, green and blue. Seven plastic cups. Some sugar. Warm water. A straw, a teaspoon, a chopstick, and a Chinese spoon. First, we will fill up 6 cups with a little bit of warm water. Remember, the water must be the same in each cup. Be careful when you hold the kettle. We will now mix in the rainbow colours, starting from the first cup with one drop of red. For the next cup, we will make orange by using 5 drops of yellow. The following cup, we have one drop of yellow. The next cup, we will put one drop of green. Then, for the next cup, we will put one drop of blue. Finally, for the purple cup, we will put one drop of red and one drop of blue. There you go! Now, we will add sugar into each of the cups. We will start with the red color cup with 10 teaspoons of sugar. Followed by the orange color cup with 7 teaspoons of sugar. Next is the yellow color cup with 5 teaspoons of sugar. For the green color cup, we will add 3 teaspoons of sugar. The final one is the blue colour cup with only 1 teaspoon of sugar. For the purple colour cup, we will not add any sugar. Now stir to dissolve the sugar. We are done. So we have created the different colours of the rainbow on our table here. But they are not in the same cup. So next, we will pour them into the same cup with a very special technique so that we don't mix them together. For this, we will need an extra plastic cup, a chopstick and a Chinese spoon. We will now start to pour from the first layer, which is the red colour layer. Put a chopstick on top of the red colour cup and hold the whole cup like this. Put the spoon along the side of the empty cup and slowly pour. Make sure the liquid follows the chopstick into the spoon and slowly drip down alongside the side of the cup.
The next layer is the orange color layer. Using the same technique as before, pour it slowly and make sure it drips slowly alongside the cup because we do not want the colors to mix. We will continue with the next color, yellow color. The next color is green color. Next color is the blue color. The final layer is purple color. We have finished making the rainbow juice. But do you know why the rainbow juice did not mix together? And all the colors actually form different layers. It is because of density. Density is the compactness of an object. For example, I have two objects in my hand, a stone and a ping pong ball. You can see they are almost the same size, but they have different density. One has a higher density and the other has a lower density. But which is which? Let's do an experiment. If I put these two objects into the water, just like this, as you can see, the stone will sink to the bottom and the ping pong ball will float to the top. This is because the stone has a higher density while the ping pong ball has a lower density. That's why we know that objects with a higher density just like the stone will sink to the bottom while well, object with a lower density, just like the ping pong ball, will float on top. Do you still remember how much sugar we put into the red color cup? I remember we put in a lot of sugar. For the purple color cup, we did not put in any sugar. So the red color cup has a higher density, just like the stone. The purple color cup has a lower density, just like the ping pong ball. As we slowly progress from the red cup to the purple color cup, it slowly decreases the amount of sugar we put inside these cups. So the density also decreases. That's why when we pour the colors one by one into this cup, they will not mix together. They will form layers. Wow, the rain has finally stopped and I have a beautiful rainbow juice in my hand here. So today we have made the rainbow juice using the concept of density. But did you know that there is another method of making a rainbow using a prism? Maybe we'll try that next time. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and share it to your friends. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you will, you will receive a notification when we release the next video. Also follow us on all our social media pages. See you next time. Bye.